Anthony made it here. The store at the end of the road. Oh yeah, I chase cars like a. What's up everybody? Hope you guys are having a great day. It has been a fun few days. Got to hang out with my buddy, hella artsy dude. Uh, he came through town, came by and hung out for an evening. He even went to the YMCA as you can see and he got to swim and hang out for a while. It was nice and relaxing for him because he's driving a long ways. But thanks Anthony for coming by. It was such a pleasure to meet you dude way cool what a cool guy you guys check his channel he hasn't been doing a lot on there but still go check it out uh he's a fun guy but safe travels to you brother and thanks again for stopping by it has been very smoky today and yesterday and the day before it, the air quality right now is right at uh 190 i think so what my phone said we are actually under a flood warning which would be good if it would rain I mean, the flood wouldn't even be good. We're under flash flood warnings till Monday afternoon or Monday about four. Yeah, we need the rain and it's cooled off quite a bit. I, I had to use my heater the last few nights. Uh, we're under flash flood warnings till Monday. It's supposed to start raining Sunday, I guess it is. I think it would definitely help get the smoke down and help with the fires. That's what I'm hoping. I hate when it's smoky. The kitties haven't been able to go outside and now they're not gonna be able to go outside because it's gonna be raining. I took down the catio tent because it's supposed to rain. But I also talked to my buddy that helped me do the thermostat and he's gonna help me build a catio to put on my back window here. Can uh, let them in and out like I, uh, either I'll make it where it's permanent or where I can hook it to it and it'll stay over the window and put a little sliding opening door here so they can step out into uh, their little screen. It'll be like a little screen box that they can step step out in and bird watch out the back door here. They love that. Where I park at, um, where I'm backed up to, the birds are always there. There's trees there and uh, you'll see squirrels and birds. They love it. A lot of times in the summer, I'll open my door and I have a screen here, but it got me to thinking on the door that I don't open, which is on this side, there's a window and I'd put like a little sliding door the little box out there would be, uh, you know, we would build it big enough for all four of them to step out and sit out there. It wouldn't be nothing they could run around on, but it, it would, uh, they could sit out there and look out the outside. I think they would love it. And we were talking about how to build it. It would be wrapped in chicken wire, a solid bottom, but the top would use barn tin. You know, it wouldn't get wet. So we're thinking about doing that. Uh, and it, I think it'll look pretty good on the, on the van actually. Uh, you know, we'll do it where it won't look tacky anyway. And actually it would work good. So when I take my shower also out there, I, I'll have a little hook on the side. I can put my USB shower head and hook it on the side of that. Normally I hook it on the door and it slides off, but I'll make a little hook. So it'll be the perfect height. But sounds like a plan. Anyway, yeah, he's going to help me build that. I'm going to have to wait. I, I have to order a new diesel heater. I believe I told you guys about this. Uh, again, today I got up to fire it up about 3.30 this morning. And it'll fire up. It'll smoke outside. You know, you'll see the smoke outside from it. And it'll read error code 8. All I do is unplug it from the battery. Plug it back in. And it fires right up. I think it might be something in the controller itself. I've talked about this before. Either on a live or another video. But I am going to order a new one. I mean, let's see. 
next uh, at around the third of next month I'll order a new one it only take a few days to get here so that's in the works you know the little power bank that I got from All's Power they also sent me the R600 now this little power bank it's not as little as the 300 but it's very lightweight it charges from 0 to 100% in one hour on a wall plug so if you plug it into your AC outlet zero to a hundred percent in one hour now that's awesome i have a blue eddy 600 it takes freaking forever like eight hours to charge but yeah i was really amazed with this so i will be doing a video on that uh here it is right here uh a picture of what it looks like i'll be doing a video on that soon uh look forward to that look who jumped up here and wanted to be part of the video cleopatra huh she's purring loud she's purring because she knows it's time for dinner and I was going to let you guys know things are going great. I'm eating good. I'm feeling pretty good. Doing a little more exercises per day. I, I have stepped it up. Uh, meant to be RV and uh, challenged me on closing the rings on my watch. She has an Apple Watch too, and so we compete against each other. Hey, let's calm down. There must be a mosquito in here. Lord. Anyway, so yeah, I've been closing my rings every day. Um, I've been doing more of the exercise videos. Uh, I found a really good bunch of them on YouTube, like 10 minute spurt workouts, like uh, dance videos for 10 minutes, cardio ones, and just some strength building ones. So yeah, I've been doing those. I, it's gonna, I won't be able to ride my bike a whole lot more. It's gonna start raining soon and raining season here in Oregon. We all know it rains all the time in this winter, but I do have, I still have my exercise bike for inside the little pedal deal. And so I'll be doing that, uh, be adding that in soon instead of riding my bike. And when winter's here, I go to the YMCA twice a week. So that's good. Keeps me busy. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a great rest of the week or weekend. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of my channel. Uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Peace out. Who's hungry? Come here.